Neighbors in Alabama and Georgia feel someone watched over them to survive the tornadoes. Look at all that damage there. Channel 2's Chris Jose is live in Lee County, Alabama, where 23 people died. Chris, utility crews are working to restore power there to neighborhoods before it gets pitch dark again. Right, they have about an hour left of sunlight before it's completely dark out here. Once again, Wendy, have a look back behind me. In the last 30 minutes, this tree service team arrived on the scene. You can see the big crane right there. That tree literally snapped in half from the backyard, fell on top of the house, sliced through the home. I can tell you, it's hard to believe anyone inside survived. Words cannot explain how bad it is. Brooke McCoy stood by her boyfriend's Lee County home digging and looking for any signs of hope. Couldn't get in touch with his family, so we come out here and this is what we found. The family survived. Nearly two dozen others in this neighborhood just outside of Beauregard did not. Lee County deputies are calling this arguably the hardest hit area in the state. Everywhere you look, there is damage. Trees are uprooted and snapped in half. There is debris everywhere. Homes are leveled and down to its foundation. We found this mobile home some 50 feet away from the slab where it once stood. Officials say most of those killed lived within one square a mile flattened by the tornado. Just hope there's not many more. I just. There can't be any more. Brittany Stiles and her family helped look for survivors. She fought back tears when she spoke about her neighbors. Growing up with these people and knowing that they're gone now, it's, it's heartbreaking. 20 miles away in Smith Station, a tree sliced through this house. When she come in here, and that's when everything happened. Robert Serta showed me where his wife rode out the storm. She hid in the closet. We walked through the Serta's house and saw branches through the ceiling. We're just lucky to be alive. And back live out here, you can see this crane removing this tree that fell through the house, sliced through the house. We backed away a little bit because we're literally just about 20 feet away from this tree. There it is right there. It's getting removed as we speak. We should mention the uh, family who owns this home. Uh, they moved from Cobb County just several years ago and moved out here to Alabama several years ago. They walked away with only a few scrapes. Reporting live in Lee County, Alabama, Chris Jose, Channel 2 Action News. Wow, when you see it and hear their firsthand accounts, you put everything into perspective as to what really matters. They made it out alive, Chris. Thank you. Alabama